What's going on guys? My name is Chris Kazama from JunkieMonkeys.com. You already know who I am. And right here I have the beautiful Miss Felicia and I'll let her introduce herself. Hello everyone, I'm Felicia. And today we're going to be talking about gamers versus relationships. You guys know I made a video about this before. Oh, my man won't pay attention to me right now. He's too busy worried about playing Grand Theft Auto V. How can I make my man pay attention to me more than Grand Theft Auto V? Now I'm bringing a female, one of my female friends in to give her two cents on the situation. Ready? Ready. Alright, so we got five questions, so we're going to start with number one. So, question number one. What is your opinion on guys that play video games? Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with guys who play video games if they play them religiously or not, as long as like they're productive with their lives, it doesn't bother me. So as long as they have a job and you know they maintain a decent social life, as long as they're not, you know, the stereotypical gamer that sits in don't the basement. Don't be in the basement of your mama house playing video games, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> right, because that's the stereotype. That's all. Okay, so uh, number two, could you ever date a gamer? Of course. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, like I said before, as long as like you're leading a productive life otherwise, like mm -hmm. play video games, I'm not gonna be bothered with you about it. Right. Alright, so number three. How much time do you think should be spent on gaming while in a relationship? Like how much time do you think your significant other should give you and give video games? Should it be 50, 50, 30, 40, 30, 40, 40 60? I honestly think this depends on like the girl. If you one of them like selfish girls and you want your time, like video games probably might get a good 25%. Mm -hmm. But some girls don't mind and so you can do 50-50 because she might play with you. Mm -hmm. and so that might count to her as like time that y'all spent together. Mm -hmm. um, personally, I don't really know because it wouldn't bother me because like I like to have like my time. So if he wants his time to play his video games, it's not going to be a big deal. But so you would say about... 50, 50. Yeah, let's say 50 50 because I would count like gaming time together as like spending time together. Right. Well, you're definitely right because there is a lot of girls out there that don't really understand gaming. They think guys that game in a whole are immature and you know they really don't understand that you know just like you know their hobbies may be shopping or dancing or whatever they do. Right. You know, we like playing video games. It's just something we like to do. So, exactly. okay, 50 50. That sounds pretty reasonable. All right, number four. So, this is a two part question. So what is your gaming background? What I mean, like what type of games have you played before? Um, well, I've been playing games since I was little. Cause we had Nintendo 64, so we like, and it was a house of all girls. Mm -hmm. So we played video games. So like, mm -hmm. I think like that makes my opinion different. Mm -hmm. Just because it was not like, I'll play with Barbie dolls my whole life. I right. played video games. Um, but I don't know, I played, of What would course, be like your, your favorite game? <sighs> I don't know. Of all time. Because, I mean, you said you had the N64. That's nostalgic factor. So, there's a lot of great games on the uh, N64. I don't know. And you've been over my house quite a few times. Played a few of my games. So. <sighs> I don't know. Okay. I'll do top three. Can I do top three? Okay. I can't do top three. Uh, I have to put GTA in there just because, like, it's just fun to play. Mm -hmm. I'll put that one in there. Um, I will put, I will put Call of Duty, but I can't because I'm not really good at it. So, I don't like playing. Uh, number two, I'll say Dead Space because I'm actually kind of mm -hmm. decent at the game. Oh, so you like, so you like survival horror games? Uh -huh. You like Dead Space? Yeah. And then, I don't even know, let's say number two, or number three rather, I don't know. What's that, what, so you can think of what's number three. What, so you can think of number three. What do you like about Dead Space? Um, that's not one of those games where you know you can pick up and play. It's kind of like you know that survival horror that's pretty scary. You know, it's one of the most I would say one of the most scary games that came out in a while when it did come out. So what do you like about it? I'm not gonna lie. The first time I played, I was like jumping and like throwing the controller and stuff because mm -hmm. I was scared. But I thought I don't know. I thought it was fun and then, like after playing and like seeing like I wasn't that good at it, I was like it's a challenge. So like I want to play so I can get better and I can play. And then like after a while, like. Once you get into it, like the little alien zombie mm -hmm. monster, I don't know what to call them. <laughs> the uh, necromorphs. That's whatever. <laughs> zombie monster things. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was fun, so I was like, cool. And so I played the first one, and I almost finished, and then I just left it where it was, and then I played the second one. Mm -hmm. So I just like it because it's a challenge, and it's not like a shooting game or something. Well, I mean, it is, but it's not like Call of Duty, so to speak. Okay, there you go. So, what's your number three? I don't know. I'm just gonna say The Walking Dead because I like games with storylines in it. So I'll just pick that one. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good answer. 
Okay, so, for the second part of that question, um, what could your significant other do to influence you to play video games with them? I mean, you, you obviously, you know, you're not a heavy gamer, but you do have a background in gaming. You do like your, you know, certain genres and stuff. So, what could he do to like, you know, what if, you know, it was a game that you never played before? Like, for example, I don't know. This is a game that I always uh, ask my female friends to play. It's Little Big Planet because it's easy, it's fun, it's funny. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, what if your boyfriend came to you and said, you know, this is a new game. I want you to try it out with me. You know, would you be open to it? You know, would you, you know, try new games out with him whenever he wanted you to? Yeah, as long as, like, I don't know. I would always try it at least once before I would like, nah, I ain't trying to play this game. Mm -hmm. um, but if it's like a dude and he's just trying to get his girl to like play with him, I would say pick, like, you should know her. Mm -hmm. So you should pick a game that you feel like if it's her personality. Mm -hmm. Like Little Big Planet, that's just like a game like for everybody because it's so like, it's silly and it's fun. Mm -hmm. But if you like, if she violent, like, give her a game she got to shoot some stuff. Mm -hmm. like, or something. <laughs> like, give her something where she, like, right. if she just wanted to, like, she, like, you know, mind game something, like, give her something where it got to, like, work her mind. But, like, if you trying to get her to play. And, I mean, you can make it, like, just a together thing. Because I know, like, some dudes might not like a mind game or they might not like, you know, just, like, fun cutesy games. But, I mean, if you trying to get her involved, you got to make compromise somewhere. So, mm -hmm. all your games ain't got to be like that. Pick a couple where, like, y'all can play together or something where, like, if you, like, you might pick up one day and she walking, you walking in the room and she playing your game. So, like, mm -hmm. just pick something where it's, like, catering to her and, like, what she think and how she feel about certain stuff. I definitely agree. I think that is. I think that's the best thing about that when a guy asks a girl or his girlfriend a game because you know that is you know definitely asking your girlfriend to you know spend time with you. You know it's not exactly the I don't know what I say the society ideal of spending time together, but you know it is spending time and doing the hobby at the same time. So okay. So here's the final question. Now this question might pertain to me a little bit more because I, I'm a journalist. So could you ever date a gamer that is a journalist, a, a person that plays games professionally that gets paid for this? You know, maybe, you know, he does MLG, which is, you know, a major league gaming, like Call of Duty, or, you know, he writes for games and things like that. Do you think he can do that? Yes, this just goes back to question number one. As long as, like, it can be your life, and if you make a living out of it, like, then should nobody complain about it because it's not like you're just doing nothing. Like, you're getting paid for what you're doing. You're just getting paid for what you love to do. Mm -hmm. So like there's a difference, but as long as you're not, like I said, sitting in your mom's basement or something for like the rest of your life, playing video games, collecting dust in every part of the world, like it wouldn't bother me. If you bring me home money, look, if you can pay for a bill and buy groceries or take me out, like we good. I'm not going to stop living up with you. Okay. Well, there it is. And uh, that's it. This is Gamers versus Relationship. This is our video. You guys let us know in the comments what do you think about gamers and relationships and your whole thoughts on all these questions that we asked. You can follow me on Twitter at Chris PKC because I'm you can follow her on Twitter at her poetry lips 03. Also, check out junkiemonkeys.com. We are giving away two free copies of Infamous Second Son on March 21st, which is next Friday on release day. So, check us out there. And I'm Chris Kazama, PKZ. And I'm out. Peace.